Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how we can calculate the linear regression channel along with the upper line and the lower line using Excel. So let me first show you what is this linear regression uh, indicator. So I've added the linear regression. The way you add it is just click on indicators and write linear regression channel. And once you add it, this is the kind of indicator that will get added. And let me show you the the input so it has the length basically how much data it is calculating the linear regression on and then it will check the upper deviation and the lower deviation and it will you will have to put the settings as one or two whatever how much uh, basically standard deviation we want to give to linear regression so essentially what is the strategy the strategy is that whenever the candle comes near the lower part we can go for a buying trade so it's a reversal trade and whenever it comes to the upper part we can sell it so you can see that this is how it, this indicator works. Whenever it comes to the lower part, market tends to go up. And whenever it comes to the higher part, it comes, it tends to come down. So this is how we can trade this linear regression strategy. And now what we want to find out is what is this middle line? This is called the linear regression line and the linear regression upper channel and the lower channel. So let's do it on the Excel. But before that, I let me tell you what is the hundred. So 100 is basically it is it is calculating the number of candles to to figure out what is the linear regression and two is the standard deviation. So let's go to the Excel and find out. So I've got the OHLC data here. The first the few things that we will require is the period. And let's say we do it on a 20 period. So basically 20 candles and we need the upper and the lower. So again, we can do it two and two. And the first thing we want is to find out the slope. So the first thing we want to find is the slope to do that. You have to use the formula index open brackets linest. And then we will just have to put the closing prices. And since we are using the 20 period, we will put the 20 prices, the 20 prices. That's 20 closing prices. Close brackets comma one. So this gives me the slope of the linear regression. And now I have to find the intercept for finding the intercept. I'm just copying this function as it is. I'm pasting it here. And all I need to do is just change the, the parameter from one to two. Once I do that, I get the slope now. So I've got the, in, uh, sorry, the intercept now. So I've got the slope and the intercept. And now to find the standard deviation, I can use the formula STD dev st dev pa that's the name of the formula and again i will be using the same closing prices everything is on 20 period so we've got the standard deviation also and finally we'll now be finding i uh, will be finding the linear regression line the middle line for that the formula is is equal to the slope multiplied by the period so this is 20 and let me just fix it plus so let me just make it the bracket also plus the intercept so once you do that you will get your linear regression this is the middle line that we have got and now if you want to find the upper band the formula is this is equal to this your linear regression plus open bracket the upper band number and let's make it dollar so that it's fixed multiplied by your standard deviation so this is my upper band and similarly if i can if i want to find the lower band that's lower band is equal to this minus again my lower band multiplied by my standard deviation and again i will just make it dollar so I've got my upper band and the lower band and all I have to do is just copy it right till the bottom. So you can see that this, the, this is the linear regression line that we have got. And uh, this is the upper band and this is the lower band. And now all we have to do is we can write the strategy that when the price touches the upper band, we can go for the selling trade. And when the price touches the lower band, we can go for the buying trade. So this is how the linear regression model works. I hope you like it. Please subscribe so that you can keep getting such videos in the future. Thank you.